that intrinsic value in you, that value that Christ saw, even though man had entered into depravity, Christ saw that value, that inherent value in humanity, and he was prepared to relinquish his majesty and to take on the humble likeness of, of human form, to relinquish his, his glorious expanse of existence and come and, you know, come into the constraints of the womb of a virgin. He saw a value in me and in you. And that's something above all, above all, he thought of you. I'll always like you to personalize it. Above all, he thought of you. This humans, even relations, family, may never have a full understanding of your value. They may try to define you. They may try to categorize you. They may try to put a value upon you. But listen to me. <laughs> Nobody has an understanding or a correct understanding of your true value outside of your maker. Not just your maker, but outside of your redeemer. Your redeemer, let me tell you, your redeemer, <laughs> how he has valued you. He value, his value, his estimate of your value is so that he considered you worth dying for. There are certain things they tell you, there are sometimes you hear people say, no, 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 there is no need making that investment. It's not worth it. But Jesus saw that it was worth it investing his life, investing his blood, his own blood is shed for you. Let's clap for Jesus. Just clap for Jesus. And tell him, Jesus, I thank you that you considered me of sufficient worth to the point that you died for me. Jesus, even though I was your enemy, but you saw my inherent and intrinsic value that you are prepared to relinquish your throne and your glory and to come in the likeness of sinful flesh, to suffer for me, to die for me, so as to redeem me and reconcile me to God my Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 